Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the weeks of October 5th through the uh, 19th, 2017. Um, I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank all of you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Uh, remember guys, these are general readings, uh, so it may or may not resonate, but hopefully uh, they do. Okay, <clears throat> so the hardest situation is death. Page of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Hierophant. Knight of Cups. Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Um, okay, so starting off, it looks like something has ended. Uh, could have been a relationship. Uh, maybe you have changed. Um, could be going through some sort of grieving or mourning. Um, but something has come to an end. Um, I feel for some of you, you may have been trying to resist some sort of ending. Um, also, some of you could have been dealing with a Libra or a Gemini or an Aquarius. There's something, too, that you have been working on for a while or you're trying to keep busy or focused keep your mind focused on something else trying to stay caught up in your work so there could have been some sort of loss and you're trying to keep yourself busy it's almost like being in denial but it's maybe so that you just don't want to put your focus on something that can be viewed as negative so you're turning your attention to something else and you're just being dedicated to um, your job or your hobby or your your work process is something that you're just kind of focused on could have been some sort of craft you were developing uh, you could be taking all of your emotions and journaling them been doing a lot of writing so some of you could be like documenting uh, or you could be have been documenting every day about some sort of grieving process, something to help you get through this. I feel like you're going to also, uh, if you don't know about something that ended, something that ended is going to be made known. Maybe someone publicly posts their relationship status or show some sort of indication that a relationship has ended. This also could be you. Maybe you're publicly making it known that you're no longer in a relationship and now you're open and available. So something is going to be revealed. Um, and I feel like either something is going to be made known to you or you're going to make something known. Uh, for some of you, you may have also been um, I don't know, something changed maybe physically with you or health-wise. There could also be something going on. Uh, I know this is a love reading, but just, just to also make note of that because that's, I feel like I should just bring that out too. Uh, something could have happened medically, uh, even, or your doctor revealed something to you, um, concerning your health um, that could change your life forever. It doesn't have to be a, a, a disease or, or something or maybe something's gone. So it could I mean, it could be good news, like something is is gone or you're no longer diagnosed with something. Um, but yeah, there's something that it, it could be that's going to be revealed. Uh, someone also could be confessing to you. Um, oh, yeah, and before I move on to that, there could be also a change in religious beliefs or spiritual beliefs. Like someone challenged you 
with your uh, spiritual beliefs and that now that belief system is gone or dead and um, you know after you found out something maybe you lost all your hope or all your faith in uh, something dealing with either politics or religion also it could have been a deal breaker with someone like their spiritual beliefs is a deal breaker for you or their political beliefs are a deal breaker uh, okay, now going back to someone possibly confessing how they feel about you. Um, could be a, a, a water sign in their 30s. Uh, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Does it have to be? But they're making their feelings known. But I'm feeling like some sort of rejection. Like someone gets rejected or... Uh, ignored or you know someone turns down an offer so either you're walking away from something from an offer from someone or they did that to you but there's this sense of uh, feeling rejected and at a loss um, feeling like you don't have anywhere to turn there's also this need or desire for help or some sort of assistance or a cry for help, but you're choosing to suffer in silence. Um, there's also the possibility of you having several offers on the line, um, but I don't know if for whatever reason you may not be interested because also there's an earth sign uh, so there is uh, could be a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo and this person is also seems to be in their 30s very uh, health conscious responsible um, someone may have been injured too I don't know like had an accident like uh, injured their leg or their foot or something and now they're just kind of having to rest up or they feel like their life is over but it's, it's really not that's just how it's being viewed you have to change your perspective someone has a crush uh, either you're going to let someone know that you have a crush on them or they're gonna let you know that you know they have a crush on you might be a little gesture uh, they might because usually the page of cups is a shy card to me um, also this is someone who could be starting to develop feelings or over time it's taken a while but now their feelings are starting to develop or maybe your feelings are starting to develop for someone this is kind of fish out of the water. This is new. Maybe this is someone that you're not normally attracted to. Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe because of their spiritual, political, or physical features. Um, not spiritual features, but you know, spiritual beliefs, um, physical appearance, or political um, views. I don't know. And I don't know, maybe it's something that is just completely foreign to you but I don't know you're kind of taking a liking to them or something I don't know kind of falling for somebody that's not normally your cup of tea your type um and also relationship wise I don't know there is you or your partner could be suffering in silence about something. Um, but they're going to open up to you about it. The truth is going to come out. They're going to let you know whatever that is or why they've been so distant or quiet. Um, okay, so come the following week. Uh, if you're single, there could be someone coming into your life at a fast speed. Um, someone, Or you might be confronted by something or... Uh, someone is going to let some let you know something. Be, they're being very direct. Or th again, this could be you because it is air. Um, yeah, I, I'm just feeling like a secret gets revealed again. I think this is still like a continuation of like the whole crush thing. If you have a crush on someone. Um, and then with the Six of Wands, I feel that you're going to be... Uh, have the confidence like this gives you an ego boost or confidence boost 
uh, to be vulner vulnerable or to be open and to share how you feel someone might just I don't know, I'm seeing someone pouring all of their emotions out or just being really open just putting all of their energy into you or you them I'm feeling like your hope gets or your faith gets restored in something Maybe you thought someone or something was unattainable, but then something happens and then you feel like, okay, so there is a chance. And now you're feeling optimistic and you're feeling confident. Um, for some of you, you might even feel like you have the confidence to go ahead and pursue someone or to flirt with someone or let them know that you're interested. And also this could happen to you. There also could be several people that are into you that makes you that gives you some sort of confidence that you were lacking prior to that week. Um, but overall, I just kind of feel like you're going to be a little uh, popular or getting like the well-deserved attention that you've been desiring. Um, I feel like uh, someone's going to pour their heart out to you too. Some of you might be interested in someone that is at a distance or maybe it's like, a, you know, um, you're just interested in someone on social media. It's just like one of those type of relationships or maybe you have a crush on someone and your crush opens up to you. Um, but it's like they're far away, even though they're far away, they live in another state. You guys might also be different. Um, nationalities races uh, religions is something but I feel like you're gonna find some sort of common ground and you guys are uh, going to connect and have some sort of bond like a spiritual connection something happens too that brings you guys together this is a blessing I feel like um, whatever you've been praying for your your prayers are going to be answered you still need to have patience things might not be happening as fast or as quickly as you're expecting them to but things are being in the works your prayers have been heard um, so continue just being yourself don't hold back um, just just be you put your feelings out there uh, don't be afraid to be vulnerable I am still seeing a bit of hostility and communication problems it's like one minute I almost feel like it's one step forward two st steps back type of thing going on because I'm seeing that you're connecting with someone that can be even if you're in a relationship there's this this good communication going on and then something happens and then you get cold feet or you get distant again and standoffish or it's kind of mind games for some people too it's like they're getting a kick out of playing games it's, it's like it's not really funny um it's like someone opens up and they're vulnerable to you and then and then they do something that retracts that that causes doubt and it might be their way of keeping control of the situation like just in case they don't want to get their feelings hurt. It's it's almost like some sort of defense mechanism. Like, why did you do that? You know, like one minute you're open and you're vulnerable. And I thought we were connecting and going somewhere. And then you turn around and you, you stop talking to me. I don't hear from you for days. Or then you, you say something that hurt my feelings. Or you do something that hurt my feelings. It's some sort of defense mechanism. Somebody... There is some sort of close connection and I feel like somebody can't handle that connection. So they're doing things to try to sabotage the, the connection or the relationship. Maybe you, you or them feel it or maybe both of you feel like it's too good to be true. Because there is some sort of uh, self-sabotage going on. But it's clearly a good bond and connect and it's also a telepathic connection. And you guys are both, a lot of times, too, the Five of Swords is both parties are being petty and doing silly things and things that are immature um, to one another. Something else I was going to say uh, before I uh, conclude this. Hmm. 
Well, I forgot, but uh, also there's a possibility of you connecting with a Sagittarius. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just quiet because I just want to, there was something else that I felt like needed to be said. Oh, yeah. Um, I am also seeing the possibility of spell work, not for everybody, but someone might be trying to cast um, a love spell. It could be you, it could be someone else. Especially because of the full moon. I know some people take practice in that. Um, but someone could be trying to create some sort of love spell or attraction spell. Or someone could be jealous of your relationship and try to cause a spell to break you up. That is a possibility too. Alright, so uh, I hope this has helped. Remember, these are general readings, so it may or may not resonate. Uh, if you'd like a private reading, you can email nemat76 at gmail.com. That's in the description box. Just click on that link. Uh, email me directly. I don't really answer Instagram mess private messages. Uh, sometimes I do, if you want to take a chance. But most times I don't. Uh, I respond more to my, my Gmail. And if you leave a comment here... Like if you just can't see my email address for whatever reason, just leave a comment in this comment section and I'll, I'll leave it there for you. Uh, but thank all of you guys. Please continue to like, share and subscribe. Many blessings to you all.